Hello. How's everyone? I'm trying to find myself on Facebook here. Let's see. I find myself. Yep, there I am. Right there I am. Alright. I've got one card prepared for tonight. That's it. But, uh, I'm going to wing it with the rest. Hi, Miranda. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Weenie. Yay, Miranda. Hi, Jeannie Ruby. How are y'all doing? I know some of y'all watched Edna this morning. I was at work. I knew she was live. I popped on for like three seconds and popped right back off because I had work. Mondays is my busiest day at work, so I can't, you know, go wandering off into uh, Facebook land. So I couldn't watch this morning. I'll watch it later and in a little while. But uh, I'm glad she's jumped on and that y'all got to watch her this morning. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. Okay, like I said, I've got one card prepared. Oh, looks to me like you're leaning. Yes, Winnie, it is nice to see her. Hi, Jessie. How are you? Jessie got her order today, or the other day, and she was off work, so she played today while I was at work. <laughs> Did you make lots of good things today, Jessie? I bet you did. I can't wait to see them. You're going to have to post them so we can see them. Okay. I cheated a little bit because I was doing this for something else. And I thought, no, I'm going to use it for our live tonight. Well, good, Miranda. I'm glad you had a productive day. Yay. It's always fun to craft. I know this morning you was peeling potatoes for your roast. <laughs> But tonight, our first project, we are using Dragonfly Dreams. And we're going to use um, Okay, the only thing we're stamping with from this is the is the Bumblebee. It's the only thing I stamped from this. And I used this one. And then on the envelope, I used them both. I used this dragonfly. I'll turn it around where you can see it. This is the detailed dragonfly thin lit styles. I used this to cut out my dragonfly. I cut it out twice and uh, that's what I did with my bumblebee. I didn't stamp my bumblebee. I just cut um, this one. Right, Use this one. Hi Shelly! Hi Sharon! I'm glad y'all came. Hi Kathy! Anyway, I uh, used this die cut from my bumblebee and I did it twice also but I let me take that back I did do one stamp on it before I cut it I did um let me see which one did I do I did uh, I did this one right here because I wanted it in black and uh, so I did that one and stamped it in black and I'm going to show you what I did because when I did these the other day I went ahead and did the others so see I stamped it on crushed curry and uh, rather I cut it out of crushed curry I stamped with the black ink first and then I cut it out with the crushed curry so there's my two bumblebees and I used the um let me see. Grapefruit Grove to cut out my dragonflies. So, there's my dragonflies, and I'm going to stack them also. So, those are already done. Y'all don't have to wait on me to go through, cut, stamp, cut, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, but it'd been okay. We had it right there. But this is going to take less time this way. Maybe we can get other things done. Some of our other stuff done. Alrighty. Our card base is um, crushed curry. 
It's A2, eight and a half, uh, five and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. And then we have a layer of the Grapefruit Grove. It is cut at five and a fourth by four. Then we have another layer of the Crushed Curry. This one is, let's see. It says five and a half, but I don't think that's right. Let me see. I can't remember. I sure hope it's right. No, it's not. It's, it's five and a fourth. Yep, it's, I wrote it down right. Five and a fourth by three and seven eighths. Let me fix that. <laughs> if I don't, I'll forget it. Okay. And then... Uh, we are using the petal palette We're using the first of the two stamp sets and I am using this piece right here and then this sentiment life is so much better with you in it is what we're stamping we're stamping that on the front of our card we're not stamping a sentiment on the inside we're just stamping one on the front okay then I have got two pieces of the um, Share what you love specialty designer series paper, and this one is cut at uh, four and seven eighths by one and three fourths, and this one's four and seven eighths by one. This one I'm using on the inside. This one I'm using on the front of the card, and we're going to use some wink of Stella. Yes, yes, yes. And let's see. Uh, Last views and a little bit of uh, Tombow Mono. Look at there. That's, look how nasty my Tombow Mono is. That's where I'd get sticky on my hands and he'd get all over the bottle. But you know what? It doesn't matter to me. I still use it. Of course, now I would not use this in the class. Hi, hey, Rena. Glad you joined us because I'd be ashamed. <laughs> you know, now if they got down messy, I wouldn't care, but I would be ashamed to set out this bottle for anybody to use. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold our A2 size card. I'm going to give it a very good crease here. Flip it and do it the other way too. I'm going to see which side. Okay, this is the front then. And there's my bone folder. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this layer down first. This is our um, Grapefruit Grove. This is one of our new end colors for 2018-2019. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm trying to get it even. I'm going to go ahead and put the inside piece down also. While we're at it, might as well, hadn't we? I think I'm off camera here, sorry. <laughs> I'll try to be better and get up closer. And that, look at that. I got that thing just suck it right down to my hard stock and I don't want that to happen. I well, hope I'm not getting my noggin in your light. I'll tell you what, we, I had a busy day. Monday's always my busy day at work and then it was vet day today so we'll come home. I changed clothes, we loaded up the babies and uh, this was their first time riding in the back seat because they've been riding up front with Johnny in his lap. Well they're too big for that now. So uh, we had their collars and leash on and we put them in the back seat and we raised the uh, headrest and tied the end of the leashes to the headrest that way they couldn't get into the floorboard put a quilt down on the seat boy they hollered they cried they howled oh my gosh Cleo is a howler she howled <laughs> and we just had an adventurous trip to the vet I'm telling you but, uh, oh, and then the, we got to the vet, and there was dogs there, and then their dogs came in, and, oh, they got so excited about that, especially Tut. Tut thinks he's got to play with every dog he sees, and uh, he wanted to, but 
wouldn't let him, and he was mad because he wouldn't let him play. But, you know, you don't know how other dogs will behave. Oh, it was quite an adventure, Miranda. I don't tell you. It's never dull moving around here with those dogs, but <laughs> we are loving it. They are just the most special things. We are so blessed to have gotten them. So blessed. Okay, I am putting this strip over this away, trying to make sure I get it a little even at the top and the bottom. I think I cut a little more of this one off than I did in my sample, but that's okay. I'm not going to fret it. And you know what I did? Mm, 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 mm. I forgot to stamp first, but it's not going to come back up. Uh, no, it's not. Doggone it. Okay, I'm just going to stamp part of this one, but I'm going to stamp the whole thing because I was fixing to do the same thing with this. We are going to use the um, Grapefruit Grove. If you don't know how to open this, Gary took Charlie and left Shadow at home, and he howled the whole time. Oh, my goodness, Kathy. It's awful, isn't it? <laughs> it's awful when they howl all the time. Cleo's not an all-the-time howler, but she... You, I told Johnny she was not ladylike whatsoever. You'd think Tut would be the howler since he's the boy, but no, Cleo is. She's something. Anyway, if you don't know about the new stamp pads that we have, it's so easy to open. It's like a compact. It's got this little groove at the end. Can you see that? And you just flip it up like you would a compact. And then slide it. The more you use them, the easier they get to slide. You know, they'll get loosen up and slide. Okay, I am going to use this stamp right here. And I'm going to try my best not to mess up my designer series paper here with this. And we're going to come across here. And I'm not even. I am so crooked -dated, it's not even funny. Look at that. I'm going to do just a smidge right here. That way it looks like it's... <laughs> no, it don't. <laughs> I thought, well, it will look like it, but no, it doesn't. It's not even, is it? That's okay. I'm not going to fret it. I am not going to fret it whatsoever. I mean, you know. If you fret every little mistake, then you're going... I, I would be fretting all the time. I just because I'm, I make a mistake on nearly every card I make. So, I'm going to put this one right down here, just like that. Okay, now we are going to, I'm going to leave that open for a moment, and uh, let me squirt my, over here and clean my stamp off. Now, we are going to go ahead and lay this down right here. I'm going to use our fast fuse for that. Okay. We're going to make sure we try and get it even. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, yeah, I'm not perfect. We're not, none of us are perfect. It's homemade. It's beautiful. That's right, Jesse. You are so right. You have been listening. I'm so proud. So proud. Okay, now we are going to take the uh, Life is So Much Better with You in It stamp. And I am going to stamp it about right here. Ta-da! That looks good. I'm pleased with that. I am pleased with that. Okay. Now I'm going to close it up. Now to close it up, you just pull it towards you. Well, the easier thing for me to do is push it. <laughs> from this end because once it gets loosened up you're going to be able to pull it easier from this end then when I get it so far out I pull it flip it over and it closes right back I love it hey Becky and it still lays like it's supposed to with the ink pad upside down so the ink will be on the surface okay now I am going to go ahead and I am not stamping anything on the inside I want to have plenty of room to write so I'm just going to go ahead and put this one down, and uh, like this, and we're going to, I'm going to see if I can get it even all the way around. There we go, that looks pretty good. Not the best, but not bad. Not horrible bad. 
we'll get this one on. Now, I'm telling you, this is the only card I was prepared with. Everything else is, we're going to wing the next one. <laughs> Yuppie, we're going to wing it. Okay. Look at there. That one did pretty good, too. All right, now. Here's where our Winka Stella's come in. Love this stuff, love this stuff, love this stuff. We are going to... This is the only thing I did not do. When I cut them out, I just did the one that I used. I didn't do these already. So look at there. I mean, it's got little stringies. Move it off. Okay. I'm just using the side of it, the side of the brush, just to brush it on. That way it's not deep in it. It's just a light layer, but it's sparkly. Can you see that? Now see how sparkly that one Costello makes the dragonfly? I love it. I love it. Now, this dragonfly, what I'm going to do is the wings... This one's going to go on the bottom, so I'm not glittering up as much of it, but I'm going to glitter up this part here and this part here because the only place I'm putting them together is right here. Yeah, now then, I'm liking this. Yep, 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 yep. I love it. I love it. I'm going to use just a little bit of... Oh, my gosh. See, I did this with the first one. And I don't know what happened to my paper towels. I did that with the first one, and I just about cried. <sighs> Pull it off. All because I shook the... Tumble mono down. Look at it. I don't know what's going on with it. This thing's nearly empty and it just wants to pour out the top. Alright. Now what's wrong with it? All sorts of glue on my finger. Look at it. It's still pour, just pouring out. What's wrong with it? Okay. Now we're going to line this baby up. Just like that right there. And squish the glue out. I think I'll be okay. All right, we're going to lay it right there. And look, look at this. Is that not crazy? I'm just going to let it flow. It looks like lava. Y'all, I hope y'all are praying for everybody in Hawaii that has had the volcano eruption. You know, it's horrible, it's horrible, it's horrible that people are losing their lives and their homes and their property and their livelihoods to uh, to this volcano. It's horrible. So, y'all pray for them. Okay, now we are going to glitter up. Let me see, which one do I want to glitter up? I'm going to glitter this one up, the whole thing. This whole thing. Okay. It doesn't take as long with the bumblebee. It's not as big. <laughs> so. Just going to glitter up this part. That part right there. This and these antennas. And I'm just gluing right in that center part right there. And. Oh, man. I'm just going to put a dot there. So I'm going to put the cap back on this before it... Well, I just made a mess. <laughs> I made a good mess with it. I did, I did. Oh, well. This one may have to be in the garbage. It keeps flowing like that. I, I have had it sitting up like this. I don't know what in the world is going on with it. And now i got fuzzies on me. I hate fuzzies. Okay, now then. We are going to line up our uh, bumblebee 
and uh, get him together. Okay, now we're going to get some dimensionals. But of course, dimensionals, we're using mini ones, because those are smaller places. So, we're going to go with our dragonfly first. Put one on it. And then our bumblebee. Let's get one right there. Go this away and it won't show. Now, I'm pull, well, I thought I was pulling it off. <laughs> I didn't very well, did I? This bumblebee is going to go in this direction, right like this. Or dragonfly, rather. Now I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm calling them all sorts of things. Here's our bumblebee. We're going to angle our bumblebee down this way. Now, I'm going to fluff them up. Fluff up them wings. I see, that's why I uh, uh, used my wink of Stella on the bottom one, too, because we're going to fluff up these wings. So it looks like they're flying. Look at that. I love it. And then if the wind catches it, you know. Look at there. Alrighty. There is our first card. I'm very pleased with it. Now then, let's make our envelope. We are using our Bumblebee stamps. This is a two-step stamp. Oh, never find the other piece. We are going to use Chris Curry. Thank you, Miranda. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black. And we are going to, let's see. Yep, this is the one that we're stamping. Thank you, Becky. Thank you, Ru Jeannie Ruby. We're going to use our black first. We're going to angle it. Oh, no. Well, let's make sure our envelope's going in the right direction. That would be something, wouldn't it? And look there. I just inked it up with the wrong one. <laughs> That needs to be the Mento Tuxedo Black. Alrighty. Mento Tuxedo Black here. And we're going to do it just like that. Now. Now then, this one is the one we're going to do in the Chris Curry. And that gives us the yellow part of the, of the bumblebee. And I'm telling you, you see all these bubbles on here? I don't know if y'all can see them or not. Our new stamp set design is supposed to eliminate most of these bubbles. They've got some kind of a formula that they have done with these ink, new ink pads that uh, when you're, not, you ha you're going to have some bubbles, but not like this. And that's one of the exciting things about the new ink pads that I'm just so looking forward to is not having bubbles. You know? I'm hoping I'm going to get this pretty straight. All right, there we go. So now we've got an envelope to go with our card. I feel like I have got a ton of glue on my finger. So it's going to take me a little while before I replace every one of my stamp sets with the new, new ones. But these are still good. These are the same colors. Uh, you can get the new stamp sets in these same colors when you're ready to swap over to the new. I've got to get this glue off of my finger because it's going to end up on something I don't want it to get on. Okay, so there we have it. This is our first card. This is the one that I did for my sample. And here's the one that I did tonight. Here's my first, my sample. And here's the one I did tonight. So I'm really pleased with these. Are really nice. And see the designer series paper, the different cuts on it, you get different colors, different flowers, and it makes it look a little different. And I really love that. And I love this this designer series paper. Okay, we're gonna set this stuff right over here out of the way. And my next card, like I said, we're gonna be winging it now. And uh, thank you, Shelly. And what I am going to be doing is using um, products from the um, 
share what you love sweet this is the sweet that you can go ahead and order everybody can order this now even our customers and there's three separate bundles we have the just getting started bundle which is fifty seven dollars and you'll get love what you do stamp set very vanilla card stock uh, the grapefruit grove classic stamping pad an old olive classic stamping pad a clear block e and for free a very vanilla note cards and envelopes now this is really good for people that are just starting out this would be good to get a be for a beginner to get if they don't want to invest a whole lot just yet to see if they like this but then there's those that want a little bit more please and they will get the love what you do stamp sets make a different stamp set which which is letters and things very vanilla cardstock you also will get the share what you love cardstock pack in four colors pearlized doilies uh, the great fruit grove stamp set a rich razzleberry velvet ribbon share what you love artesian pearls and for free a very vanilla medium envelopes and what share what you love embellishment kit but now What do you use to your phone? I have a, uh, I use a selfie stick, Kathy, to hold my phone. And Johnny fixed me this little fancy rustic thing that holds, mm, excuse me, my selfie stick. It's awesome. Love it. He's so creative. <laughs> but now if you're like me, you got to have it all. Yes, I have to have it all had to have it all so what you get in the have to have it all is love what you do stamp set make a different stamp set very vanilla cardstock share what you love cardstock pack pearlized doilies which are awesome I get so smooth this share what you love specially designer series paper the grapefruit grove stamp pad rich razzleberry velvet ribbon the share what you love artesian pearls this lovely floral dynamic textured impressions embossing folder which is wonderful and for free you get the share what you love embellishment kit the very vanilla medium envelopes and a statement of my heart single stamp it's the only way you can get this stamp set right here this free is for free in this bundle and the last day that you can get it is May the 31st because this stamp set is not in I know you got it all Jesse woohoo and this stamp set is not in the catalog also you cannot get these bundles in the catalog it will have to be all bought individually so uh, a little more bundle is ninety-one fifty. Got to have it all is one twenty-seven fifty. And you know, if you want to make your order up to a hundred and fifty and get reward points, you can also, which is something I can't recall, I cannot recall if it having been done before. You can get the whole in color collection, the 2018, and I said 2019, but it's 2020, 2018, 2020 stamp sets, the in color collection. There's five colors, blueberry bushel, call me clover, the grapefruit grove, lovely lipstick, and pineapple punch. And you get all of them and you save 10%. Is that not awesome? So that would make, if you got the Gotta Have It All and the stamp pads, you would have enough to have a $150 order and get reward points on top of that. And if you do not have your own uh, demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Just give me a holler and I'll help you. And I also have a code for May. Uh, I cannot remember it right off my head, but of course not. <laughs> you know but anyway that's what we are going to be using tonight now we've got a half an hour here alrighty we are going to get our uh, specialty designer series paper here we're going to decide on what we're going to use let's see let's show you one side is got all these sparkles the other side does not I think we need to use some sparkle. What do y'all think? Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? That one doesn't have sparkle on it. I guess all of it doesn't. Anyway, look there. That's got rich raspberry in it. 
you can feel it. I mean, you can feel this paper. It's wonderful. That's got some sparkle to it. Okay. Let's see. Look at there. That's got some shine to it, too. Is that not gorgeous? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And this. Mm -mm -mm. See, that's what I just used. Just this one right here. And this is what's on the other side. It's wonderful paper. I love these pokey dots. And look at these flowers that are over here. So, I think what we may use then, let's go with this. With, and we can use some rich razzleberry. Yeah. Let's use some rich razzleberry. Paper's all trying to come out of the pack there. Okay. Now, we need to decide what we're going to use. I guess I need to... Uh, the stamp sets down. Here's the stamp sets. Love what you do. This is the make a difference. It's got the two different fonts for the lettering and two different fonts for the numbers. And then it's got these the that you can personalize your card. You know, hand stamped by from the desk of. You know, if you're doing stationery, uh, this belongs to you. You can do that in a book. You know that you want to share with somebody. Hey, Lane, I'm glad you've joined us. Thank you. And then here's the statement of my heart. To love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments. In this, we make a difference. And, you know, we could use this in our everyday life, not just in our crafting life, but in our everyday life. Because uh, if we love what we do and love what who we are, we can share what we love and share our love and it helps others enjoy their creativity and love to learn to enjoy and love themselves. And it's worthwhile accomplishments, not just for you, but for them. And we can make the difference. So see, it can be used for your walk of life, not just for your crafting life. You know? Awesome! It's awesome! Okay, we've got some Whisper White in this. So I think I'm, I'll use a Whisper White base. I've got one cut. <gasps> Magic! I haven't given it a crease yet, but let me slip it in here. Let me get a crease in it. It's, well, I think I just creased it crooked. It is. <gasps> I did. Oh, me. Anyway, it's eight and a half by five and a half. I creased it at four and a quarter and something. And I'm not having it. <laughs> Let me find me another piece of, of uh, Whisper White Thick. When I added my new colors, my other colors, I moved them around because I put I put all of my... Hi, Trish! I'm glad you joined us. Oh, I know. I love this stamp, too. Um, anyway, when I got our new colors, my, I, I uh, do all of mine in alphabetical order except for the end colors. I have the new in colors at the top and then the in colors that promoted down and uh, then I went from there in alphabetical order mm -hmm. with my colors because it's easier for me to find them that way instead of a lot of people will do them with their their groups you know their regals their subtles their brights their neutrals well I can't do it that way <laughs> Me, I've got to have them in alphabetical order. That's just like my stamp sets I have up here. Uh, anybody that watched last week's and they saw my craft room, how I have my stamps, they are in alphabetical order. And that's how I can find them easier. I just, I'm, I'm just like that. That's just me. That is just me. Oh, man. There's something sticky on here. Uh-huh, right up there. Off. Okay, I'm getting rid of that paper. It's not going to get on my stuff. I'm not having that. So let me get me another piece of grid. Okay, now we are going to give it a nice fold and crease right here. Let me find my bone folder. It doesn't matter what end you use, just whatever end you grab up. I just happened to grab up the short end. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, now do that 
and uh, let's see. Hmm. I need to decide what I'm going to do, don't I? <laughs> I'm not going to use a whole big piece of this, I don't think. I think I'm going to use a, uh, let's see. This is um, five and a half. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go, I'm going to cut it at five and a half. This away. So that's as long as that. See, I'm not going to use all of it. So what I'm going to use, because I'm not going to put a... Yes, I am. You know what? We're going to put a rich raspberry base on this. Yes, we are. I think that's what I want to do. We'll put a rich raspberry layer on there because see, that would just really pop out this rich raspberry in these flowers, don't you think? I think so too. I'm so glad y'all stirred me in the right direction. I think we're just going to go a about an eighth in on each side and cut this down. Things not want to lay itself down right. Okay. Now then, there's that, and we are going to go ahead. I'm going to lay that down. Yeah, like that. So I'm going to cut this about. Let's see. Let me cut an eighth off of it. Yep, I'm going to put an eighth off of it to do where I want it. Okay. Now, that'll be as long as the, that right there. That's, that's how I want it. That's what I want. Yep, that's what I want. I'm throwing things over here into my recycle box and it's so full it's falling out on the floor. <laughs> I'll pick it up directly. Alrighty. Now, move my stamp sets out of the way. They're sliding everywhere. I'm going to attempt to line this up using fast fuse. I'm trying to use all my fast fuse up since it's retiring the end of May. I'm so upset about it. I hope they come out with something just as good because I love it. I love it. Let's see. I just want a small border. That's why I cut it that small. That close in size. Look there. Got it looking good on that one. That's the front. Here's our back. I have a little bit got bowed. But this is going to lay it down. Okay. Now then, let's get this. I feel like I'm not in the right place here or something. Okay, I'm going to bow it that way. Now then, we're going to hopefully not get my noggin in the picture. Okay, there's the inside. Now, what we are going to do, since we've cut this the same length as this, I want it, I think we may go like, hmm, I think we'll go two inches, just a little lower than two because I'm going to, I think I'm going to punch it. Yes. And I'm going to go one and a half, maybe, for the inside. I'm going to cut it at that for the moment, and I'll probably change my mind. Who knows? I may or may not. Depends on what I want to do on this side. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got in our embellishment box. Let's take a look at it. Okay, we've got some ribbon and thread. We've got little paper clips and these little 
roses. These are stiff stick roses. We have got these lovely little tags. Look at these tags. Aren't those gorgeous? You know, I could do that and do a tag. Maybe not that big. Maybe a smaller tag. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we want to put on our tag. See, so we've got four of each. Well, we've got eight of these and four of the big ones. I love these. These are wonderful. Let's see. Let's see what's going to look good on it. It's going to fit on it really good. Hmm, I bet you thank you is going to fit on it perfectly. It will. Oopsie. Look what I did. Threw it away. See, love what you do goes on there really good too. Hmm. I think we may use love what you do. Yep, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the love what you do. And, uh, we need those things out of the way. Love what you do. And I think we will stamp it in the, um, I don't know if I, yep, the treasure berry. We're going to stamp it in the rich razzle berry. And we are going to use, I think probably a C block will work. Let me find one and we'll see. C block. Let's see. Yeah, C block will be perfect. Alrighty. Let's get my foam mat under here. Let me move this out of the way for the moment. I'm going to practice with this to make sure I get it good. Okay. Whip it open. I want to make sure I've got it straight on here. It doesn't look straight. That definitely doesn't look straight. Okay, I'm gonna. That looks pretty straight, doesn't it? Okay, now we're gonna put a little tag down here, and we're going to ink up. I wonder what it'd look like if I stamped off. It'd be too light. <laughs> okay, that's what it'd look like. Too light. All right. Look at there, how messy I got the block. Let's see if we can get this on here without messing it up. Okay, it kind of did funky, but I'm okay with it. Still looks good. Still looks good, I think. Clean off this stamp. Close this rich raspberry. Oh, I'd look fine going to work rich raspberry. But then, of course, I came home with black on me from, uh, I think that finally wore off over there. From an ink pad at work that we used to stamp things with. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. Go to work fine, come home, inked up from work. Alrighty. Now, I think we are going to, let's see. Hmm. What do I want to do? Let me get my punch here. We are going to use our ball. Banner triple punch. You know, this is what I want to call a uh, triple banner punch. We're going to use this. We're going to go ahead and get this one. Now we're going to do this one. All right. Those are punched. Get that out of the way. Yeah, that went into the box instead of the guard into the floor. All right. Now, see that makes it where it's not all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to inch it down just a smidgen from the top. Put this on. Put about three swipes of uh, fast fuse on there. Make sure you're lining it up straight up here. Come down with it. And there we go. And look at there. That is not even. I didn't get it even. It's over this away. I meant to do that 
<clears throat> I know y'all don't believe me, but I really didn't. It happened on its own because I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Didn't make sure I got it on the right spot. Okay, we're going to bring this down just a smidge right here. In fact, you know, I think we're going to come over a little more with it than what we did on the inside. I'm going to turn to right on the inside. I'm not going to do that on the front. So I'm going to bring it down about like right there and do it like that. Okay, now, let's see. I think I'm going to get some uh, dimensionals. I'm going to get some regular dimensionals for this. And we're going to pop this up really well. And, uh, you know, I know I love dimensionals. And I, I'm not afraid to use a bunch. <laughs> you know, why not? I've got them. And I love everything popped up good. And I don't like to have anything that squishes down. Okay, let's pull these off the back. Okay, now we're going to put this about right down here, like that. I like, I like, I like, like, like it. All right, uh, then let's see, what did I do with the artisan pearls? I have them over here. I'm going to use some of these on it. Yes, we are. Love these things. Okay. I'm going to use these rich raspberry colors right here. Let me find my, there's my score. Scoring tool. Pitch that up there. And we're going to put these. Whoopsie, come on. Put it right here. No, not right there. Right there. Right there on that little pointy. I'm going to put a dimensional right there, but I think we'll be okay. Two. I think I like that. And then we're going to put one on the inside. I'm going to put it right there. Think anybody will notice it right there? Because I, if I put it on here, I'm afraid definitely I'm not going to notice it because it blends in so well together. Since they're both rich raspberry, what do y'all think? I like it. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I am going to take and I am going to cut this at one inch. At one inch. And then I am going to punch it. I better make sure I don't punch it as bad as I did that other one, right? Okay, that looks like it's going to be in the right spot. Yep, I did that one good. Now, I'm going to cut this down um, to, I'm not sure how much, what it's going to be. It's going to end up being two inches. Like this. Now, I'm going to take that, take an envelope, and this is what we're going to put on our envelope, I think. Yeah, like right there. Because nobody said it had to be something that was punched. And look at there. That dimensional back wants to come along. Nobody says it has to be something you stamped on there or anything like that. I am using that. Look at there. There's their banner. Their banner matches our banners on their card. So there you go. What do y'all think? Oh, I love Rich Rizzleberry too, Jeannie Ruby. I just don't use that enough. Because I get started using something else. And I think, oh, I just love this. And then I use something else. Oh, I just love this one. And I just, I just, you know, I just can't help myself. But there it is. What do y'all think? I'll have to make another one of these. Alrighty, we're going to make something really, really super duper quick. Love those pearls. Oh, I do too, Miranda. They are so tiny. Well, I'll probably end up going to work with some of them on me. 
because sometimes I'll get in here and craft before I go to work when I have to close. You know, like tomorrow night. I'll probably be in here crafting before I go to work tomorrow. <laughs> and so that's when I end up with these things all over me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to score this other A2. Yeah, up there. I went and done the same thing with that one. Nope, I didn't. Not so bad. Okay, I'm going to fold it over. Now, this is going to have to be a quick one. I swanny, our home phone, house phone is just ran off the hook this evening. And what's going on with it? I don't know what I did with my other bone folders. Good thing I got two. <laughs> But I know we've got, they're already talking about governor's election and all of that stuff. And they get started early with calling you and that just drops me nuts. <laughs> so, and it's not just our house phone, it's our cell phones. Johnny gets so mad. You can hear my dad getting mad. He hates political calls and those calls where they want to sell you insurance or they tell you that uh, get one that tells me that there's something wrong with my computer and uh, my daughter works with computers that she uh, um, designs software for TV and radio stations and so she has several computers computers she works on and so when they call her she'll ask them which one and they have no answer because they don't know that she know that she had more than one computer so she likes to do them like that she's funny she is funny child okay let's see um i think you know instead of doing whisper white let's do the rich raspberry as a base color. Let me go ahead and give this one a crease. And uh, I just made that crease crooked. <sighs> It'll be okay once I get it down here and, and give it a nice good. I don't know what I did with my other bone folder. Okay. Yeah, you can't tell that I messed it up. Anyway, all right, we're going to do that. Let me get some, uh, let me get some regular whisper white. Ooh, that's the last sheet in my little stash thing, my holder there. I'm going to have to get some more of that out. Let's see, I think I am going to go with it at uh, five and an eighth. At uh, five and an eighth. Okay. And three and seven eighths. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Three and seven eighths. Okay. Then we're going to use, you know what? We're going to use the same. I'm going to use the same uh, specialty designer series sheet. And we are going to come in like. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to put it behind it. So let's come in at uh, five and one, two, three, four, five and five sixteenths. Let's come in at five and five sixteenths with it. And uh, let's see. <laughs> I don't even know now what I cut it. Five and five and a cut it at okay, one, two, three, four, five. So that's three in. So we're gonna cut it at four and a sixteenth. 
Okay. Hope I remember these. Because see, this is going to go behind this right here. Nope. We're in a 16th. Okay. I'm not as good with let's hurry up and get this done and make it super quick. Alrighty. We are going to I'm gonna lay this down on here real fast with some fast fuse. I think I just got it on my countertop. If that's okay, it'll rub right off. I think I did shorter than I did width. Width is awful off. Awful off. <laughs> but it goes perfect with that. So we're going to go with this anyway. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I love this rich berry on here. Alrighty. We're going to go over if I don't hurry. <laughs> All right, there is this one. Get it down. Now, okay. I wonder what size circle this is. I would love to put something right behind it. Uh, no, I think, let's see. You know what, it, I don't think it's going to matter if it holds. I think we're going to take a rich razzleberry, and I'm going to punch it with this starburst punch. And, uh, you know, I've got some scraps right here. Perfect. See there. I just want it different. That's not going to cover every bit of it, but I think it's going to look pretty good. Once we put it on here. No, I'm not liking it. The more I look at it, the less I like it. <laughs> yeah. Let's find a circle that's bigger than it. I don't want a scallop circle. I want a regular circle. So let's go with this. I'm going to go with this. I'm just going to run it through the big shot just real quick over here. And uh, get our circle. There we go. I don't need to see my mess I'm coming up with. There. I like that. Yep. That separates it from the white. And I am going to use just a little bit. Let me get the... the uh, oh, there it is. I'm going to use some of this fine tip glue. We're just going to attach it a little bit right, right in here. I'm not going to attach every bit of it. Just some little spots right here. And I think that's all I'm going to attach it with. Okay. I'm going to attach it right on here. Let's see. Let's make sure we get it as straight as we can. This border all the way around. Here we go. Let's get this cap back on. So it won't dry out. I'm having a hard time here. There we go. Get the cap back on. Okay. Now we are going to we're going to use some of the, some of our ribbon. Since we haven't used the ribbon yet tonight, let's just uh, cut us some ribbon here. There's my ribbon snips. Let's cut some ribbon. Okay. We may go with two. Yep, let's go with two pieces. Have a ribbon. Alrighty. I'm going to put some fast fuse right in this area pretty heavily because I want this ribbon to stay put. I think I'm going to line it up about right there. I hear my fingers sticking to the fast fuse from the back. 
That's why I like fast fuse. Look there, of course I had it crooked. Why would I not get it crooked? Okay, now. Still crooked, isn't it? We're gonna come up a little. This and if I get it on one side, I maybe I'll do better with this one. I think it's because my fingers kept sticking to the back of the card. Let's see. Yeah, I like that right there. Okay, now we are going to that's gonna go right there. Okay. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put this down. There, that ribbon is wanting to stick up, so I'm going to put some fast fuse on the back on that, too. All right. Now, I'm going to lay this down right here, like this. Like so. This is going to go right here. Now. Yeah, we're going to use some of those. We are going to use, let's see, what are we going to use? Okay. I don't know if we pull this up like this. This, see, I don't really like that. I don't want that on there. I want this one. No, I don't want that one either. All right. I put it down. We better hope that I stamp good. <laughs> I'm going to stamp. Love what you do. Let me get it off of here. Nope, that's what we already did. We're not going to stamp. Love what you do. We're going to stamp. Thank you. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to stamp. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to use... This is seat block, yeah. This is a seat block. All right. Get this. Get this. We're just using pretty much the same color palettes and everything, aren't we? Um, but that's okay. You can. You can do however how you want to. It's the way you want to stamp. It's how, what makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's just a little crooked, so I'm going to try and go just a, a little bit. Let me see. I'm going to try and go just a little bit this way with it, maybe. I'm going to come down here. Go that way. All right, look at there. I did that and got it straight. Good deal. I'm proud of myself. I'm not usually that quite that good with getting it straight when it's crooked on my... Uh, block there. Okay. Now then, we're going to mount this. I'm going to use some uh, dimensionals. We're going to start with some dimensionals in the middle. I'm going to put one right there between these ribbons. Let me I'm going to use these mini ones because of the fact that they they fit between the ribbon really well. That works. Okay. Now we're going to use the big ones. And we're going to do that around and make sure. Well, it's not going to matter because it's the same all the way around. There. And there. And there. And there. Two more. One here. One here. And you know the ribbon's going to hold this up. Didn't even have to put those little ones on the inside of the ribbon, but I did not want it to have any give on the inside of the ribbon either. I just like to use dimensionals, you know. Bet y'all didn't know that, did you? <laughs> yep, I got this thing about these dimensionals. I just rather like them a whole lot. There we go, that one. Ouch, that got to come in my thumbnail. Now I kind of hurt. Okay, now then, we're going to come down with this and seat it right there. That looks good. That looks good. Of course, we're going to have some pearls on this one, too. Let's get this thing out of the way. And uh, let's see. 
you know, we could have went with very vanilla with this. And it would have looked good. We're going to put a pearl here and move my snips. My arms lay on them. Put one out here. I'm just going to scatter a few here. Oh, that's all right. It went where it wanted to go. Okay, and we're going to do one more. I think we'll do it like right there. Okay. Now, I really don't want this big piece in here. So I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. I'm going to make it, uh, make it four and two quarters, and two and three quarters. That's usually the size I have for my sentiment piece on the inside of my cords normally anyway. And uh, I'm not going to stamp anything on this one either. The way it gives me more room to write. And... Uh, but I am putting some some of these pearls on there. Yeah. So we know this is this will probably used for females since I've got pearls. Yeah, that'll go at work. All right. I love it. What am I gonna put on the envelope? I don't you know. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, we're we're late. We're late. I'll have to come up with something for the envelope later, and I'll show it to you next week. All righty, everybody. That's all we're going to do tonight. we got three things made. I'm proud. This was our last one. This is the second one we made. These are the two that we winged it with since I didn't know what I was going to make. And I'm very proud of these. These are uh, made with everything that's from the Share What You Love Sweet, which I love. Thank you, Miranda. And then this is the one that I had already designed and uh, made a sample of. This is the one we made tonight. So here's our cards for tonight. I hope y'all liked them. I hope y'all enjoyed watching. And uh, you ain't one in an hour. He's <laughs> fitting three cards in. Well, I mean, you know, whenever I've got one card ready and... <laughs> You know, but it took me an hour and ten minutes tonight to you all three, even though I had one pair up. But anyway, y'll come back next Monday, 7 Central. I don't think anything's going on. I keep thinking in my head something's going on next Monday, but I, I really don't think there is. If something is going on, I'll let y'all know, but I don't think it shouldn't be anything but work Monday morning. So, y'all come back next Monday morning. Or next morning, Monday evening, 7 Central. And we will do us uh, some more. Oh, you know what I could do? I'm standing here, just thought about it. Let's really... Let's put one of these little rose... Stuff stick roses in the middle of this dolly. Does it not look pretty? If I can get the paper off. But anyway, I want y'all to... Um, Enjoy your week. Get in your crafty room and get crafty. And like I said, if you don't have a de Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Just let me know. I can help you if you want to order this wonderful suite. One of the bundles, any of them, would be great. If you're a beginner, the first bundle. If you just want to do a little more than beginning, then go with the second bundle. But if you want all of it, go with that third bundle. You know, I'm a, I gotta have it all person. Look at there. I love it. Anyway, there is our three cards, lady. Um, Y'all have a wonderful evening, and thank you so very much for stopping by. I love you, ladies. Y'all are so wonderful. Y'all are so wonderful to me, and I really, really appreciate y'all coming by. Y'all have an awesome week, and I will see y'all next Monday. Bye.